This is a 1985 Chevy K10, and this is a 2014 Ford F-150 Raptor. And I'm lucky enough to get to choose to drive one of these two every day. So what's it like to daily drive a 32-year-old truck when compared to a new pickup? Let's start with the way everybody starts, with a key. Now to unlock the Ford, all you need is one key and a push on the fob. With the Chevy, it's a little bit more complicated. Back in the day, you had two keys to unlock a pickup. One was for the door. That was the round one. And of course, the square one was for the ignition. Now, everybody knew it back then, but nevertheless, it's still a little bit more complicated. Originally, this K10 came with a Chevy 305, which is basically a 350 with a smaller bore. It also was choked with emissions because, well, back in the day, these trucks had to meet certain standards, which meant that it had a lot less horsepower. It also meant that it was slow, it was quiet, and it wasn't particularly fun to drive. Of course, we've changed that with the ZZ6 Chevy Crate engine. And unlike that original 305, we put throttle body injection onto this truck, which means it should start up with one crank. The Ford Raptor has modern fuel injection. Gasoline is injected directly into the cylinder. Now we added throttle body injection onto this truck and actually Chevy had it in the late 80s and that means that fuel is directly injected into the throttle body of the engine. That also means it's more efficient, a little easier to start than a traditional carburetor with a choke. Let's see if that's true. Look at that. Purr is like a lion. Both of these trucks are lifted. In fact, the K10 is a taller truck, but this Raptor in essence has, let's call it a factory lift. It's designed from the factory to be tall. You've got 12 inches of wheel travel with these massive Fox shocks. Now, the K10 has a little bit more basic of a lift. There's blocks that lift the suspension off the axle, giving the wheels more room to travel, but it's not a very, well, it's not a very elegant solution. And in fact, it's not done very well because when it travels down the road, it kind of goes down the road like an airplane landing. It doesn't track quite straight. So what's it like to daily drive a 32-year-old truck? You know, it's just great. You feel like every drive to the grocery store is special. And it's easy. I've got power steering, got power brakes. I have functional air conditioning. All right, maybe the vent doesn't face me all the time. But nevertheless, even though it's 95 degrees outside, I'm cool as a cucumber in here. And I've got a truck that sounds, well, sounds like Van Halen, if you know what I mean. And that's really the magic of this truck. Not only is it a time capsule, but it also makes you feel special driving it. The other small problem with this lift is not that it's tall, in fact, tall in the Raptor, I love that. It's the fact that this truck rides like hell, it's bouncy. It's not really giving the truck a lot of suspension travel, it's just making it ride like a donkey cart. And that's no good. Full disclosure, I've actually never been in a donkey cart, but that's what I imagine it to ride like. Now, the good news is that this is a work truck. It has an eight foot bed, which means that when Mike behind the camera wanted to borrow a truck to move his stuff, he borrowed Big Green and not the Raptor. The Raptor's bed is only five and a half feet long. It's okay, but this gets the job done. The Raptor's gross vehicle weight, GVWR, is 7450. It can tow 8,000 pounds all day long. Now, the K10s, or the old truck's GVW, is 6,100 pounds. And did you know that back in the day, these bumpers were actually optional? You didn't even get bumpers, let alone a hitch. So we've towed with this, but because it has rear drum brakes and front discs versus discs all around, towing with it is not a problem. Stopping is. Now why do I feel special driving it? Well, because it's so simple, right? There's 
not a lot of the modern distractions. The radio is very basic. I don't even have a phone charger, so there's no risk of me trying to plug that in as I'm driving. I don't have a full on communications infotainment center looking at me. I've got the speedometer, I've got my fuel, I've got my oil temperature, my charge level, and my engine temperature. And you know, you look at those once every half hour at most, except of course for the speedometer. So it's really all about just kind of being alone with yourself in the truck. And in this case, I'm alone with myself in the truck in a time capsule from 1980. And that's pretty cool because it brings to mind all those good times. You know, there's something about high school when the world is young and everything is full of possibilities. To put the new truck in four-wheel drive, all you have to do is flick the switch to four high or four low and to lock the rear diff, bloop, just pull it out. The old truck has old school locking hubs. Not only do you have to put the lever in four-wheel drive, but I gotta lock the hubs manually. Uh, there's a problem with that sometimes. In the winter, these can get packed with snow and sometimes they can freeze, but the upside is they're very simple and for the most part, they're super reliable. Let's face it, the vehicle you drive says a lot about you. And if you drive a Ferrari, it says that you're probably very wealthy and you pay more in insurance than most of us make a month. And if you drive an old work truck like this, it probably says that you've uh, earned your money the hard way. You're not worried about getting a little dirty. You probably spent some time working with your hands instead of just with your head. Can you guys think of a new half-ton truck with a solid front axle? Because that's what this truck has, and that's a good thing because like a Jeep, it's easy to lift, it's very simple, and it's very dependable. Do you guys know that trucks with eight foot beds have three stake holes? One, two, yep, and there's one hiding right there, three. And that's so you could put posts up so you could fill the bed up with hay or grass or ass if you're gonna haul ass. Here's something that's a pain in the ass but ultimately really cool. This truck has two fuel tanks. There's one on the driver's side and come with me. Over here on the passenger side. It's a pain in the ass because when you have to fill it up you have to go to one side of the fuel pump and then bring it around the other side because you can't get the hose across the truck. But what's cool about it is that switch over there lets you change from the left to the right side fuel tank because let's say you're driving down the highway and you're about to run out of fuel and you think to yourself, I gotta get fuel. No, I don't. I've got a spare gas tank. Hit the switch and you're good to go for another 100 miles. If you're wondering what's next on our big green project truck, it's just that. I hope to get a proper lift on this thing get it tracking down the road true and straight and make it something that can actually go off-road as opposed to just looks tall and cool. Because right now that's what we got. We got a truck that looks cool, but actually keeping the tires on the ground, not so much. The whole axle just twists every time you apply sufficient or excessive throttle. And that's not the way it should be. We need to get that sorted out. In a head-on accident, this old truck with its sturdy and well-designed body-on-frame won't crumple much. That one, even though it's also body-on-frame, will fold like an accordion, and that may sound like a bad thing, but when the truck doesn't have crumple zones, all that energy from that crash goes right to you-know-who. Yeah, the driver. When I get to the office, I've got two sets of keys to choose from, and which do you think I'd rather have? The new truck? It's a lot more modern, it's a lot more efficient. 14 MPG compared to 8 MPG, it's a lot safer. But look at my shirt. I am a child of the 80s. I went to high school when another brick in the wall ruled the airway, so I will always grab the old truck. And that's because even though the new truck is a lot more capable, a lot more safe, that one is a lot more fun to drive. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news use. And of course, Really cool 80s big green reviews. See you guys next time, ciao. I got a old truck to drive.